G'day, today we're talking about what is the best solar panel for Australian homes. Australia has got a very mature solar market. The take up rates here in Australia, in some areas we've got one in three homes installed with solar panels. So globally we've got the highest penetration of rooftop PV anywhere in the world. That's because we have such a fantastic climate for solar energy and also the government here have been very good with the way that the rebates have been worked out. So we get solar installed here in Australia for a really low cost and we have a great climate which ultimately means that the payback period financially is very very low compared to most other countries in the world. With that climate means there's some additional things that you should look for with the solar panel. It's a good climate for solar but it's a harsh climate for solar. If you imagine having anything up on your roof in that hot sun 365 days a year for many many years on end you're going to want to get something that's going to really be able to stand the test of time and, and get through those rigorous conditions without failing. So over the years we've seen lots and lots of solar panels come and go. In fact if you compared the list of solar panels that were approved by the Clean Energy Council in 2013 and compared it to the list in 2020, that was that period where we saw a huge initial spike in solar installs in Australia which then dipped. So in that really busy time frame 83% of all solar panel manufacturers approved either went out of business or left the Australian market, which meant there was a lot of warranties out there that cannot be looked after. What's that, what's that resulted in is us now having to take down a lot of old solar systems that have been installed by other companies who are no longer around, but no longer work, and we're replacing them with new ones. So you do need to be careful what solar panel you install. In terms of what to look for specifically, from a general point of view, you want to find something that's been well tested here in Australia. So while solar panels evolve and change over time and the actual model of solar panel from any one manufacturer will be different from one year to the next, typically if you get a manufacturer that has a really well tested product in Australia, even if, it's been, even if that model has now been um, taken over by a newer one, <clears throat> it's normally a good indication that that manufacturer knows what to do here. The testing results of an older panel will hopefully be similar to one of a newer uh, model from that manufacturer. So find something that's been tested here. There's a resource online called Desert Knowledge Australia. If you Google that you'll find it very quickly um, and it's a solar testing site and it basically shows you the different solar arrays that have been installed and how they're performing. A lot of those solar panel manufacturers are obviously still here in Australia, still distributing panels in Australia and the ones that have been tested for a long time that's a really good place to start. Because installing a solar panel here is not the same as installing one in a European country or somewhere else in the world where the climate is different. So check for one that's been really well tested. Something else you could look for if you wanted to go down that rabbit hole a little bit further is the temperature coefficient of a cell or of a panel. What that means is that, contrary to popular belief, a solar panel will actually decrease in efficiency when it gets too hot. So it's not heat that gives you electricity, it's UV. When a panel goes beneath, below, higher than a certain temperature, it will start to decrease in efficiency. So a temperature coefficient is a percentage figure. That percentage refers to the amount that it will decrease for every degree over 25 degrees Celsius that that cell heats up to. So if you had a temperature coefficient of 1%, if your solar panel temperature was at 26, it would basically decrease the efficiency of the panel by 1%. That might not sound like a lot, but if you start looking at the differences over a 25 year period of a big solar farm installed, or even a system on the roof of your home, it can make a little bit of a difference to your back pocket. So if you wanted to get a little bit technical, that's one thing you could look at. Another thing here in Australia with that heat that we've seen being problematic over the years is a plastic backing sheet behind the solar cells on a solar panel. Now, usually you'd have a sheet of glass, solar cells and a, and a backing sheet. Because of that heat, um, over time, we've seen a lot of those backing sheets discolour and they'll look a little bit yellowy. Sometimes they crack as well and sometimes that can cause the panel to fail or really decrease in efficiency rapidly. What a lot of manufacturers are doing now is creating a double glass or sometimes a bifacial panel. So what that means is that instead of having that plastic backing sheet, you've actually got two sheets of glass that are sandwiched in the solar cell in between. So that common point of failure in this climate with the plastic backing sheet has now been completely removed from the panel, which makes it more reliable in the really long term. As a result of this, a lot of solar panels that have got that dual glass 
uh, capability have, imp have improved their warranties because they're very confident that that has improved the long-term reliability of a solar panel. That's a couple of things you can look for. Outside of that, um, again, just more generally, you really want to find a manufacturer that has been around for a long time. So solar panels now typically come with 25 year warranties. Some come 30 year warranties. That's obviously an awful long warranty. Um, longer than probably some people will be in a home, longer than some people will own a business, but that's what the warranties are. Some solar panel manufacturers have only been around for four, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe 10 years. You really want to find one that has a longer trade in history than that to give that warranty a little bit of credibility. So there are plenty of brands that do. Uh, some of the ones that, that we like to use and have been using for a long time are Trina Solar. Um, they're one of the larger ones. They've been around for a long time. Canadian Solar also have a good trade in history. Um, Phono Solar, the parent company there goes back to the 1970s. They have been manufacturing solar panels for a very long time as well. Um, that's a few of them. Um, there's been a few actually leave the Australian market quite recently. Um, that we did install for a long time. LG and QCell were a very good brand. Unfortunately, they're not here anymore. They were a more premium product. So if you're looking for a premium product, then REC make a panel called Alpha. Again, REC tick a lot of those boxes that we're talking about. So basically, um, they're the things that I would look for in a solar panel. If it was me installing here in Australia, it isn't the same as installing in a colder climate. So the heat is the big issue that we have to deal with here and although it's a blessing for us because it gives us great solar production can also be a curse if you choose the wrong solar panel. I would steer clear of brands that aren't really well known and I would steer clear of brands that are being imported by an individual company that's then installing them. If you install a panel that's been imported that way the person or entity that's imported that panel essentially becomes the warranty holder. If they go out of business you then have to go back and trace where the manufacturer is often in China, you'd then be trying to deal with the company in China to get that warranty looked after. Obviously that's going to be very laborious and potentially impossible to do. So if you can choose one of the big players that have been around for a long time that have proper distributor networks set up here, that's going to be a little bit of a safer bet in terms of if something does go wrong, can you get your warranty looked after. There's lots of other things to consider here for your home. So this video is just designed to be a little bit of a snapshot of what to look for in an Australian home or business. If you want some more specific information about what you need for your home or your business, because one roof is very different to the next, one budget is very different to the next, and what your desired outcomes will be different for you compared to the other people that we speak to. So get in touch if you want something designed more specifically for you. And we can go into the detail of all these different solar panels, let you know um, what's better for you and then uh, design a system specifically for your needs. Hopefully that's been helpful. Thanks very much.